Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. It is me, it is I, Vivi Cox, and you're welcome back to another video. Ah, my heart is full of joy. Like, I don't even know where to start from, but I just want to say thank you so much to those that wished me well in regards to my new apartment, those that showed love, watched the video, liked it, shared it, left a comment. Thank you so much. Ah, I've been reading your comments, still reading them up till now, and ah, I don't even know how to explain the gratitude, how I feel. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to be answering some of your burning questions. Maybe not burning, but after I put out the video, I did get some DMs in regards to the pricing, location, just a couple questions in regards to my apartment. So I just decided to publicly ask you guys in case some of you had some questions for me. So I put up a question thing on my Instagram asking you all to ask me questions in regards to my apartment. And I did get some questions. So in today's video, we're going to be tackling answering well not tackling but yeah in this video we're going to be answering all the questions and yeah without further ado i'm not going to waste much of your time i have my phone here with me and um let me just show you guys the questions i got my phone okay i don't know if you guys can see but i did get some questions so yeah today we're going to be answering hopefully all of them because they're not a lot so hopefully we get to answer everything okay so the first question is do you have any properties you like to give out um i'm sure i do the thing is i've been so busy with house hunting that i haven't really had the time to go through some of my stuff to kind of you know take out the ones i want to give away the ones i'm taking with me and whatnot but thankfully i found a place so i'm actually going to do that i have started packing but I'm going to check my stuff and see. I'm sure I have stuff to give away. So follow my other Instagram, Vivian Ukeze, off duty. It's going definitely going to be happening on that page, not on my main Instagram. So follow that one so you be up to date. So I kind of know when I'll be giving away stuff because yeah, I don't think I'll do it on YouTube, no. All right, the second question is Vivi Cox. First of all, I love you. I love you too. Please, can you give us details on how to get this space? Okay, so how I got this space was through a website called www.nigeriapropertycenter.com. I'm going to leave it on the screen. Basically, it's just a website that has house listings apartment listings, apartments for rent, for sale, whatnot, shortlets as well. Okay, so the next question is, you mentioned getting a puppy in the video. When do we get to meet him or her? Ah, you're so attentive, cause you could almost miss that in the video. That was in my last video, by the way, if you're confused on what this means, I mentioned it in my last video, but you could almost miss it. So shout out to you for being able to get that. Um, to answer your question, I haven't actually gotten a puppy yet. Um, I have a friend that has a lot of puppies and actually two friends so I'm just still waiting to move and settle in but hopefully before my birthday I don't know um, but really soon so the next question is please did you use an agent and can you share the contact yes I did use an agent I got the agent off the website www.nigeriapropertycenter.com so I'm going to be leaving the name of my agent and his phone number in the description box his name is Mr. OK so um, feel free to hit him up and tell him what you want I'm sure he'll be able to help you um, the next one is not a question it says please don't post your location yes even where I live right now um i don't think i've actually ever posted my location but um please if you know my new house um please just keep it to yourself don't visit me unannounced um please just give me my privacy please and thank you so much um the next one is should the security is tight there we don't want to hear stories um yes the security is pretty good okay so the next one is how hard was it trying to get the apartment <laughs> Let me tell you, house hunting in Abuja is actually not a joke. I'm sure if you've been through this whole apartment hunting process, you would agree with me. It's not easy finding an apartment, especially these days, man. And now, oh my God, apartments in Abuja, I think they are becoming overpriced, if you ask me, because as of last year, the places I saw, the prices have almost doubled this year which is very crazy. So yeah, to answer your question, it was really hard. I checked about 20 to 30 apartments and to me, that is a whole lot. Like, rah, that is a lot. And 
Bear in mind that before you view an apartment, you have to pay like three, two to three thousand naira. Well, some people even charge four k. You have to negotiate, but it doesn't go below two thousand naira per viewing. And imagine, do the math: two thousand times thirty apartments. Before I found this one. Honestly, being an adult is really the ghetto. I can't even emphasize on that enough. Um, next question: How does it feel to have a to have a rich bitch energy? <laughs> it's my friend that asks this question. I feel good. Well, I'm not. I'm pretty rich. Well, I'm rich. Let me prophesy that. You know, let me manifest it in my life. I'm rich in Jesus' name. But I mean, it feels good to have leveled up. I, I feel like this new apartment is more of me. Um, this place was really a struggle for me, and but I'm glad I passed through this as well because it's a learning curve for me, and you know. It has made me stronger. Prior to this robbery incident, I never experienced one in my life. So this was like my first official robbery incident in my 25 years of living. And yeah, it has made me stronger. I'm still dealing with the trauma and all, but yeah, there's a first time for everything and what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So, so yeah, it definitely feels good to level up. The next question is, where did you get this apartment? I got it off a website www.nigerianpropertycenter.com Okay, the next question is please share the agent's number currently house hunting and only seen gory ones Please help me. Sure, I'm going to be leaving the name of my agent and his phone number in the description box So uh, make sure you check it out. Next question is why did you move out of the other house? Okay, I'm still here um, But I'm moving out in a couple of days and the reason why I decided to move out of here is is because of the robbery incident i mean amongst other factors but the robbery incident was the major factor was like the kicking factor for me because um it was very traumatic and i'm filming this video in september today is actually the 18th of september i kid you not there was a robbery two days ago around this area but not this building the building next is their building so robbers went to steal materials and bro i'm going to well, I'm not going to insert the screaming because I feel like it might not just be nice to just put that in my video. But um, I was awake, traumatized as hell. So you can just imagine. So yeah, I'm so, so glad I'm leaving. I'm very, very happy I'm leaving this place. Um, the next question is, when will you be moving? I'll be moving in a couple of days. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Um, the movers are actually coming here in a few days to check out my apartment and give me a quote on how much I'm supposed to pay. Hopefully it's not too much. If not, I'll just move by myself really. <laughs> but yeah, in a couple of days. Um, the next question is, I hope we'll get a tour of the finished look. Hmm. Honestly, I'm taking my time with this apartment. You can see this one. I didn't even do my living room. So um, living alone is already very expensive on its own. So slowly but surely, when and if I finish it, I'll definitely take you guys along and yeah, I'll definitely do a tour. The next question is not a question, Vivi Cox. I love you so much. I want to, I want you to adopt me as a sister. I don't have a sister and I would like to definitely have you as a sister. Congratulations for the house, but I'm very happy for you. May God make it easier for you any day, any time in life. A sub all the way from Benin Republic. Wow! I love you. Thank you so much. Wow, this is so heartwarming. Thank you. Unfortunately, I can barely take care of myself. Like, I'm so expensive to take care of. Like, every day I hiss at the money I spend on my head because I'm like, wow, Vivian, you are quite expensive. So I don't think I can be able to afford to take care of someone else, but we're all family, so I'm your sister. Um, next question is, how long did it take before you found the new place? Was moving easy? Um, I would say I actively started searching for an apartment in August. So it took me about a couple weeks, but to be fair, some days I just I just disconnect from everything. I don't go anywhere, so I could maybe check twice in a week, and I don't check again throughout that week because I'm just burnt out and I'm angry at how much I spent and I've not found anything that you know I like. So um, yeah, but generally I would say it took me about a month before I found a place. The next question is: Tell us areas to avoid. Make me not enter one chance. Honestly, ah, uh, I don't even know because this area, there's some people that live around here and they've never been robbed one day in their life. So I think it depends on the area, but I'll say some parts of Kubwa, some parts of Lube, some parts of Life Camp, some parts of Durumi, some parts of Wusitu as well, um, some parts of Guzape. Well, 
to be honest robbery is everywhere really robbery is everywhere um it just depends on the location you're in like it depends on where your house is situated is it um surrounded by other buildings which makes it very difficult for robbers to rob you because there are a lot of buildings around this building where i am in right now is a bit segregated it's surrounded by like a lot of trees bushes um i mean there are buildings coming up here and there but when i moved in it was just like the only building away from like yeah the world in a way so i don't really know i haven't lived in a lot of places in abuja i just moved from my father's house to this place and i'm moving from this place to my new house the next one is which access did you get the house you don't have to tell me your address currently looking unfortunately i can't even tell you i can't i cannot but mm, yeah it's in town i get is it in town it's in town yeah it's okay i'll give you four options it's around um area 11 area 8 area 1 durmi apple somewhere around there so yeah okay the next question is is it possible to get a one bedroom apartment within budget of 800k in abuja yes it is possible however they are mostly outskirts of abuja or the apartments are really old and dilapidated so um yeah just bear that in mind but definitely you can you can definitely get one bedroom for 800k by the way this place i live in the one bedroom is 900 i think i'm not sure but yeah you can definitely get a one bedroom for 800k the next question is can i assist you with moving in or if you need any help with your interior decoration or design to be honest i do need help with interior decor i put a lot of my money into this rent so i can get a comfortable place but i am working with a budget in terms of designing and decorating the space so um yeah if you're an artist as well you paint and stuff please message me so we could talk um yeah I'm, I'm working with a budget but definitely um i do need help with that so yeah we'll talk on instagram in regards to that she knows herself so she would message me okay the next question is do you mind sharing how much rent costs and what to expect for places like yours in abuja i paid somewhere in between five thousand to seven thousand dollars which is 2.5 about 2.5 to 3 million somewhere in between was what i paid and what to expect so my apartment is a serviced apartment which is cleaning generator and um, water and I, I think the basic things i would need for the apartment to be running in terms of like maintenance and whatnot um as you guys saw my apartment came with four aces which is not always the case for example this apartment did not come with any aces i had to buy mine so um you just have to check so if you want that you have to look out for that so some apartments do come with aces some don't but um yeah when you pay such an amount you should most likely get an ac with your apartment um i think we're coming to an end because most of the questions are repetitive which is the pricing location um yeah pretty much and agent so next one is not a question but i'm just so proud of you fave anytime any day hope to meet you someday i hope to meet you too and thank you so much honestly god has his hand in my life because some days i don't know and some days i'm like i do deserve this so thank you so much it's really just god really okay um all right the next question is what was your budget and my budget honestly my budget initially was 1.5 million which is what i paid for this apartment yes i paid 1.5 million for this apartment but sadly that's not what i paid for my new apartment i had to increase my budget time and time again to be able to afford the new apartment right, the next question is i had been offline for a while so i don't know if you already said why you left your old place um i decided to leave this place because of the robbery incident that happened in june or july yeah that happened a couple months ago so that's actually the major reason why i decided to leave another factor is it's far away from town it's away from everybody away from my family my friends so i did like miss out on my social life a lot so i really don't want that to happen again another minor reason why is I live at the top floor so most of the time in the night or just random times during the day 
I do hear some noise on my roof, which is like a rat or something, somebody passing, like a rat passing, obviously. So it's very disturbing, I don't like it, and I live alone, so sometimes it's quite scary, depending on the sound. Um, what other minor factor? Um, I, I think another factor is the maintenance of this building. Um, this building, the um, agent told me it was serviced, um, only for me to move here, and I realized it wasn't actually serviced. They just had a generator that they turn on at certain times. So yeah, this building just has a lot of maintenance issues, and I think we need to work on that. Um, security as well is not top notch in this building. So yeah, that was actually concerning for my parents because they did not like the fact that the security here was just anyhow all right guys so that brings me to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it it was really quick because some of the questions were repetitive how much i paid who was my agent how i found the place why i decided to move and what area so i hope i was able to answer all those questions um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe share leave a comment guys we're on the road to 100k well i want to get to 100k so please like subscribe share let's make my goal a reality and I can't wait to take you on, on I can't speak English I can't wait to take you all on this journey with me so um yeah bye guys and I'll see you guys in my next video bro this lights you just want to blind me rah